Welcome to creating felt flowers. You're going to need a bat or a pre-felt in which you will cut out a circle. You're going to need some fleece or roving, mild soap, warm water, bubble wrap, mesh, and the felted balls and ropes. I have put together lessons on both the balls and the ropes on YouTube, and all of this information is in the comment section below. You can place the fleece or the roving on in any direction and choose your colors and your patterns. It doesn't matter if the roving goes over your bat. Now it's time to put your mesh on, your soap and some warm water and massage with the palm of your hand. If you massage too much, it will start sticking to the mesh. If you don't massage enough, it will fall apart. So you want it to be fully wet and soapy and then you are ready to roll. Place the bubble wrap snugly into a towel. This will definitely assist your rolling and felting process. I keep a note, a track of how many rolls I've done. We're looking at 600 rolls, 100 rolls a go before opening it up and re-rolling it from the opposite direction. Of course, I'm fast forwarding this and speeding it up because you would be very bored having to watch 600 rolls. But as you can see, I've opened it up and re-rolled it from the opposite direction and snuggled it up into the towel and gone for another 100 rolls. I actually started this piece the night before, which is why I have a change of outfit for the rolling. And as a result, my piece got a little bit drier, so I put some more water, warm water, and soap on over a mesh, and that should bring it back to life and allow me to continue felting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you're new to felting, or like me, you haven't felted for a while, your muscles will become tired. Don't stress, just put it down for a while, go grab a tea, grab a cup of coffee, and return to it later. Now it's time to shape your flower. You no longer need to roll it, but you will use, like I've used a bottle cap here, a big one, a detergent bottle cap, and I've added my soap and warm water again, and I'm gonna massage using my fingers and thumbs, and I'm also going to roll it against the bubble wrap. So I'm gonna use a variety of techniques, rubbing, rolling, and massaging. Massage what will become the petals between your fingers and thumb. You can rub them onto the bubble wrap and then you can also roll it along the bubble wrap. This will felt your piece and this will help create that beautiful flower shape. The more proficient you become, the quicker this process becomes also. I would suggest that you take between 15 and 20 minutes to create the shape. But again, once you know how to do it, the process becomes much faster. Your hands will certainly become very clean and tingly by the end of this piece. You can see your felt piece taking shape and those gorgeous colours coming through. It is very close to being felted. Once you have felted it, you're going to wash out all that soap with water. You can run it under the tap and then leave it to dry overnight. Once dried, it is time to sew all the elements together. You will need to have prepared felt balls and ropes earlier. And consider the colours that you want to use before you start creating everything. So you can see here I've looked at oranges and reds and, and even whites and I think those colours plus the yellow go together beautifully. Now when you're threading your needle, I double thread the needle and I triple the knot. You want to ensure that that knot is not going to pull through the felt. The felt is quite a loose fabric so you need a big knot to secure all of your pieces. 
I tend to sew every piece about three times. You can see here that I'm sewing the ropes in first. I find that easier and then I add my balls. But you need to do whatever suits you. You can also see that I tend to overcompensate and I get a bit nervous that things won't be secure so I often do more than three stitches. You can see it start to take shape already. Can you imagine these on a felt piece? You could have flowers, there could be a headdress. There's so many different things you could create using these techniques. Ensure you tie really firm knots at the back. You do not want this falling apart when you're finished. And it's done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get a chance to create your very own.